Hello everyone, it's me Evan, welcome back to the channel. So, today I'm going to be covering how to make a speed governor for thruster engines. Uh, this is being used on my uh, MiG-29's rockets here, so that they don't have continuous thrust throughout their journey, which would make them unstable, especially in multiplayer scenarios. So, let's just give you guys a little, little look at what this is. Take off. All right, we should probably close things up. Right, so we're going about 270 something. Slow down a little bit here with our nice variable throttle. If you didn't see that video, that's a that's a fun one. You can learn how to hook that up for your jet fighters, which is very very cool. Now it's actually quite simple. So these missiles here, I have them bound to four. Um, so when I hit four, you can see they launch off there but they actually stopped thrusting after a bit. So we're gonna come about and we're gonna launch off our next set which are bound to action five. Now, what I want you guys to notice, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slow things down, right? We're gonna hit action five. Now, first of all, there was a little lull before they actually activated or they just sat there underneath the wing. And now that they have, you can see they're going they get a little bit weird in, in slow-mo, but yeah. And then they cut off. The engines cut off, and that's because they just hit, I think 450 is what I have the limit set to. Or no, it's 420. 420 meters per second. They have hit 420 meters per second that far away from the plane, and they won't actually go, they won't start the engines again until they dip below that speed. So here they are. They're continuing on their way. Oh, it doesn't matter what the plane's doing. <laughs> you can see they're still going. Still going. They, they take a while to slow down, so we're going to let them get nice and far out here. Yep, yep, there that, that one just went. A little, Just a little puff, but it's just enough to get them back up to speed. And so these will actually stay the same speed as long as they have fuel. Um, oh, and it looks like in the meantime I have crashed in slow-mo, which is pretty cool. Crunch. Dead. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys how I actually made the speed governors for these missiles and how I, I made it so that they wouldn't immediately fire upon release because that is important so that they actually clear the plane and so that the detonators will fall away before the missile engages its engines because then it throws off the aim of the missile as it you know hits your plane and stuff like that which is it's very important that this you get this right or else it, you know you're better off just not having missiles at all so if we hide some of these you can see the sensors here in the front i think there's a yeah there's just yeah so for this one our first sensor here is bound to whatever trigger you want the missile to release on. So this is in, in this case, this one's action four, and it's the same for its opposite number on the other side. And you can see that action four activates this sensor, and it activates this detonator. Now that's important because this sensor is a time sensor. It's going to be set to 0.3 seconds, three tenths of a second, action four, which is what releases our missile. Right, and then it waits that long, and then it activates this sensor here. Because you can see channel 30, and this one is on channel 30, custom channel 30. So this one then activates the engines as it is action 22. Now it's very important that when you're binding up these sensors, if you have multiple missiles, have different numbers for each missile. For instance, no other missile will use channel 30. Nothing else on the plane will use channel 30 at all. And that's because that if you have multiple of them, even if they're not connected with remote controls, they will still interfere with each other, uh, especially on the in the launch process. Remember, each one of your missiles should have its own set of numbers. So for instance, this one has 30 and 22. This one here, this one's numbers are 
31, and 24. So make sure just no two missiles should have the same number at all. <laughs> That's I can't stress that enough because that really messes with stuff. Anyway, so this one, this is our this is the actual speed governor. This one's just to make sure that it actually clears the the plane before the engines kick on. Now, if you're going below below 400, it will speed up to 420. It'll stop. It'll wait till it hits 400 again. So that's sort of your your buffer zone, right? So it's not just constantly puffing little little spurts of smoke continuously. So it just does little bursts, you know, as it's going along, uh, like we saw in that little demonstration. This will allow your missile to not <laughs> a not clip through the floor. B, have a consistent speed throughout its journey, um, which is very useful for aiming purposes, you know, and especially because most things drop over time. This is, most of the, the missiles made of wood um, because it's a relatively light material, but it's still uh, not too, it's not foam because foam has problems with, you know, momentum any little disturbance will cause it to flutter and then it will lose its course. Anyway, <laughs> the uh, yeah, so it's not continuous thrust and that's what you want because a little bit of thrust you can account for. A continuous thrust when it gets bumped off a little bit it'll spin into a random direction and you'll never find it again. Last minute recap here. We've got this sensor this is our time sensor, and that is bound to whatever is releasing your missile. So that would be the same thing the detonators are bound to. All right, and that starts a 0.3 second timer, which activates this sensor, custom 30, uh, and then this sensor activates the thrusters, and this sensor has a threshold of that's your, your maximum speed you want the missile to go, and that is the speed at which it will try to catch up to its maximum speed again. And remember, don't ever use the same numbers for different missiles because they will interfere with each other. This has been uh, <laughs> making missiles with Evan, I guess. Uh, explanation of the weird sensor system and all that basically and uh, yeah I hope you guys have a good day and see ya bye